Hey everybody, Morbtron here. Today we are looking at the new kinetic SMG added in with Season 12, the Friction Fire. Now you get this thing through Wrathborn Hunts, and there's a couple layers of RNG to get yourself a good one. First you have to be able to roll for the Friction Fire, which is RNG, and then you have to try to get a good roll. Now the good thing is the exclusion mods do work again for the Wrathborn Hunts, so it is a little bit easier, but it's still a couple layers of RNG. Now, I almost have a max range roll here, but I wouldn't consider a max range roll to be the god roll for this weapon. Now, I do have arrowhead break, but you could get full bore for that maximum range if that's what you're going for. But personally, I would prefer having my arrowhead break, but instead of killing wind, I would prefer zen moment, because I think you get more out of that trait here than you do killing wind. Killing wind just doesn't last long enough, in my opinion, for it to actually matter and its range boast, boost, is how that word is said, just doesn't seem to come into play all that often anyway. But Rampage on a 600 RPM SMG is very nice. Reminds me of Antiope back when that was meta. But uh, this weapon here pairs up very well with long range either primaries, if you want to go for a double primary build like this trusty scout from the new raid, or you can use like a pulse, or a sniper rifle if you want to go that route, but honestly for a small map like Cauldron like you're about to see here, teaming it up with something like a wave frame grenade launcher, so these put a wave of fire or a wave of void down on the ground if you're using the deafening whisper, uh, but this thing is very very nice, has auto loading holster and demolitionist so it reloads itself and if I throw a grenade it also reloads, so you can kind of spam this thing if need be, and on small maps Teaming it up with Friction Fire is a match made in heaven. Do some damage with Martyr's Retribution, and then clean them up with Friction Fire and get that Killing Wind and Rampage going and continue on with the Rampage Spree. As far as my build goes, my heavy weapon I was using is this Blast Batu. It has Chain Reaction, which is kind of a meme. Explosions and all that sort of thing. Explosions are fun. I'm using Bottom Tree Sunbreaker because I fight Stasis with extreme sarcasm and fire, and I'm using One-Eyed Crutch because reasons, and if you want to take a look at my mods, there you go. If you're curious about the shader on the weapon, it is Vitrified Chronology. Let's get to the game. I got some. You captured zone C. 
see. Power play. Keep the pressure on. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Fuck, oh, dude. Ah, oh, uh, he got me. I can't do anything in this game. Yeah, this, this map is pretty rough. Run away from that. Okay. And I still get fucking mapped by Behemoth. Sounds called out. Ah. Oh oh. Ripperoni. Yes, we got. Five minutes remain. Advantage again. Oh, I'm, I'm, yep. I was made unalive by that absolute dad using no time to explain. Dude, come on! Uh, There's like ten of them on me. Yeah, I got one of them, but... One of the other 75 people on B got me. Door? Show your enemy what, about what about this door? Come on. Ugh. Bop, bop. Your enemy has a power play. Victory imminent. Don't be. You have to zone C. Zone advantage is yours. Fire team that fights together stays together. Three minutes. Hold Dude, strong. this kid's nuts with the bow hand cannon, bro. Victory is all I ask. Good. Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah, don't melee him. Yep, yep, yep. Do it waveform. This, this Marty's and friction fire combo. Wrecked. There, that was amazing.